Welcome to the replay. Hey everyone, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you're catching me live, there is a big red live box in the upper left hand corner. That means we can chat right here on Facebook. So like I said, if you're new, come on in, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, and let me know, tell me what you did today. I would love to know what you did today on this um, Thursday afternoon, evening now. And uh, let's just chat. But for those of you that are new, welcome. If you are catching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos coming up for this fall holiday season. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. I would love it if you would share this video and share the love of Chalk Couture. So hey everyone, welcome, happy Thursday. Excited to be here with you today. I actually just got home. I have a few minutes before I have to run back out. Um, hey Julie, hey Denise, welcome. We, I was helping uh, one of my amazing friends and team member, Jessica, set up for a vendor show this weekend. So that's where I was at most of the day and it was hot as heck. But fun times and that's the beauty of Chalk Couture is building this fun, beautiful empire and friendships. But for those of you that don't know, so all these gorgeous things that you see around me, look at the little boo, isn't that so cute? Um, all these gorgeous things you see around me, they are made using Chalk Couture. So for those of you that are new, let me throw this up on my screen. What is Chalk Couture? So we are a home business in the DIY home decor and crafting, um, crafting design. <laughs> and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these really cool and amazing silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste and then we have Couture inks. Hey Jeannie, welcome. We do have several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frame. We have canvas pillowcases. We have a whiteboard surface. We have a reclaimed door or drawer. I, I probably say that wrong every time. But we have so, so many beautiful surfaces. And then we have all of the tools that you need, hey Sandy, to create these beautiful designs. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you, not only are our products, but is a business opportunity. Hey Diane, welcome. Um, and this business opportunity, you guys, can be truly life-changing. It was the best decision I made in November of 2017, and I would love to share that with you. We are available in the U.S. for just $99. You guys, you can start your own DIY business for $99, and this is the amazing kit that you get right here. There are eight transfers, five chalk paste, two surfaces, your squeegee, your apron, your catalog, an amazing startup guide to help you in this business. You guys, I am telling you, it's it's like insane that you can start this for $99. I swear to you, it was the best decision I ever made. And not only are we available in the U.S., but we're also in Canada, you guys, in Canada for $129. So... If you think this is really cool, maybe you've seen it before, maybe you've watched me, um, and you're thinking, like, you're on that fence of wanting to know more, you guys, I do have a private opportunity group where you can come in, you can watch a video, and this is for anybody who is not a designer, by the way. Um, I would love to put you in there. So if you're interested, just give me a um, hashtag Thursday, and I will make sure I get you info on being a designer and get you into my opportunity group. So again, put a hashtag Thursday or if you want to do hashtag info or info just to let me know I can get you there hey Nicole hey Sandy thanks for sharing hey Diane thanks for sharing ladies thank you so so much so super excited about that um, I'm just I'm telling you for this fall season like it's gonna be so amazing like DIY decor is the best this time of year all right, thank you so much for sharing, Nicole. So you guys, here is what we're gonna be doing. Like I said, I only have a few minutes, but I actually, uh, we have an RV. And I have to tell you, I'm gonna be, over the fall season, um, I'm gonna be going in there and changing up some of my decor. And I found these online at a very popular um, DIY home decor craft store, okay? It starts with an H. 
just so you know. But that's where I found these. They are just absolutely gorgeous buffalo plaid. And then what I'm going to be doing is taking this transfer and I'm going to ink right on here. So like I said, it's going to be super fast and super quick, but it's going to make it super, super cute. So we are using our inks today. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set one of these aside. Now, by the way, this one is one of our new ones. It's called the Harvest Trio. Hey, Linda, welcome. Nicole, I will make sure I get you that link as soon as we get off here tonight. Um, super cool about this. These like these words are perfect for the fall season. These would be cute on cardstock to make little cards. These would be cute on mugs as well. So definitely, definitely a very popular transfer. Even like at Thanksgiving, um, you could do something like on uh, little gift tags as napkins, like the placeholders. That would be super cute as well. The back has all the directions in case you would purchase from my website how to peel and prep, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set, and clean. The heat set is only when you're gonna be using the ink and I'm gonna be talking about that, okay? So let's get this started and get this out of here. And you guys, as we go along, if you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer those for you. So I'm gonna take, oh yeah, check these out. These are awesome transfer cutters, you know, scissors. <laughs> we call them transfer cutters absolutely love these and I'm just going to cut that right on the lines that they provide for us just like that easy peasy okay you always want to make sure that you write oh no Nicole <gasps> you can go online I can tell you they're online because that's where I got them online okay oh that's a sad thing that's sad Oh, look, I spelled that wrong. Grateful. And you just, you're writing on the back of these just because you want to know which side of the carrier sheet that it will go back on once you clean these and need to return them. The, you guys, I had mentioned these are all reusable. You usually get anywhere from eight to 10 uses out of one transfer. Definitely have gotten more. So I think I'm going to use the word grateful and cozy. Um, I definitely have gotten more, but I have to tell you eight to 10 and you're going to laugh at me, but just because this is a quick project, seriously, little container of water. Once we're done, the transfer goes in here. You wipe it off with a Clorox wipe, you let it air dry, and then it's going to go right back on that carrier sheet. Hey, Sherry, welcome. All right. So look, I'm making a mess with my water now. Here's what we are going to do. So we are going to ink today, right? And by the way, our inks come, I think, in 28 or 26 different colors. I can't remember. We are actually going to use this. This, again, is another thing that we offer through our company. We have all the tools you need to complete these projects. This is our ink mat. Now, you don't necessarily have to have one, but I love them and highly recommend that. So this one I actually cut. It's a really big one, and you can cut this one down to size. What I love is it has a sticky surface. So as you can see, sticky, and there's a reason for that. So let me open this up. What this does, number one, obviously it is great for um, any type of bleed through. Okay, so if you're just using cardboard, that's fine too. But what is nice about this is it allows you to place your surface right on there, just like that. And then you smooth it out and it adheres to that surface. So number one, my fabric isn't gonna move when I'm inking. And number two, it allows me to completely flatten that out so I have a nice even surface. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha, Nicole. I get it, absolutely. All right, so I'm just gonna go like that and smooth it out. Okay, now here we go. I'm gonna take my transfer, rub my finger over the side, don't pick at your corners, remove the transfer from the carrier sheet. Now, you guys, if you forget to write on the back two sides the shiny side and the matte side, the shiny side is the side that your transfer goes back on once you're done cleaning it up and it's dry. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you forget to write on the back because I do that sometimes. 
Transfer has the adhesive side and then the front. Obviously your adhesive side goes down. And I wanna make sure I get this kind of in the center, right? Just a little bit more that way. And then I'm gonna smooth this out so there's no air bubbles in the silk screen. So anything you see, see through, that's the silk screen and that is the magic of the product. Um, because it has all the detailing and everything you need. No weeding, no nothing like that. Um, when I, I keep saying, um, <laughs> when I am doing any type of fabric, and I like to tell people this, I always like to press a little extra in my silk screen areas because I just want to make sure I've got all my edges down. You know, because fabric does have little ridges and things like that. So I always like to press that down. Okay, so I got that. Does anyone have any questions so far? I'm telling you, this is gonna be quick and easy peasy. So I'm gonna take our black ink, obviously, because this is a black towel. Now these are a permanent ink, so you need to be careful. You don't wanna get it on any other part of the fabric or on your fingers, because it's very, very difficult to get off. It's meant to be permanent. And then once you heat set them, it is permanent. I'm gonna take my mini squeegee. I'm gonna dip it right in. Now I'm going to tell you this, with the ink, especially the black, you don't need a ton. You just want to make sure you get good coverage and then you scrape it across the silk screen area. Just scrape that across, applying pressure and scraping it across, okay? Just like that, any excess you take off, okay? Make sure you've got nice coverage. I'm gonna stick my squeegee over here in my lid. Make sure it's not on my fingers. Then you're gonna get, ooh, you're gonna get a corner and you're gonna peel it up. Now you wanna peel top to bottom, left to right, never corner to corner. And there you go. Check it out. Now that's gonna go in my little tub of water. Whoop! my little tub of water, sorry, I almost spilled it, and then I will clean this up after we're done with the live. So that's it for that one. And actually all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and peel this up for right now, and I'm gonna let this dry off to the side for a few minutes before we do the next step, because I'm gonna do my other one. All right, so I'm just gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna get my next one, and I don't even need this tool so you know you can just I mean t-shirts I know some of you have seen me do my t-shirts I love the t-shirts I make using our products and our ink absolutely love them so again putting my ink mat in between ink mat is reusable as well you guys um, so that's the beauty of that you buy one you can reuse it over and over again ink mats you clean them up with water that is it you wipe them off with water you let them air dry if you would have any bleed through. You let them air dry and then you put that cover sheet right back on and you use them again. Reusable. How great is that for the crafting world? Reusable. I'm going to do the word cozy. I can't wait to put these in my RV. That's totally where they're going. And by the way, pretty soon I'm going to be doing a live from my RV. So. Definitely stay tuned for that. And if you guys are interested, by the way, if you want to get notifications of when I'm going live, you can always text at chalk to me, the number two, to 81010. And I like to send out notifications when I'm going live, and you'll be able to catch me right here on, on Facebook. Um, so again, just text that um, te uh, chalk to me, at chalk to me, to 81010. Oh, Sandy absolutely could use orange for Halloween, for sure. It's just these are ones that I plan on putting right in my RV for like all the time. Oh, that's awesome, Nicole. Awesome. All right, so let me get that off the screen. All right, so I've got that down. Again, I'm going to take my squeegee, dip it in my black ink. Just pull that across the silk screen. Just like that. And
any excess back in the jar. Don't waste. Squeegees clean up as well, right in the water. Make sure I don't have any on me. Totally peeling that up. Putting this in the water as well. Oops, sorry you guys, hold on a second. And it's that easy and there's no weeding involved whatsoever. So now, let me peel this up. Now I didn't have any bleed through on this so there's nothing I have to clean, but if I did, Again, I'd wipe it off with water. So this, I'm just gonna put my little carrier sheet back on. Sorry, my little carrier sheet goes right back on this so I can reuse it. Love the fact that it's reusable, you guys. That's the key. That's good to go. Now I need to heat set these, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I have a Cricut heat press, you guys. If you do not have a Cricut heat press, it's totally fine. All you need is an iron, okay? So if you're using an iron, you want to get parchment paper, not wax paper, you guys, parchment paper. And actually, I forgot to turn it on. Oh, hold on, you guys. I gotta turn my heat press on, sorry. Okay, so if you need to use an iron, Absolutely, you could use orange for Halloween. Yep, yep, sorry, I thought that was a new comment. Ah. Um, if you're using your iron, you get your parchment paper, you put a piece underneath, you put a piece over top, and then you're going to iron this for four minutes on each side. That will make this permanent, okay? For me, I'm gonna be using my Cricut heat press, so mine is 30 seconds on each side. Once you do that, Nicole, you should have it any day. Any day it should be there because it went out that same day that I was talking to you right here on Facebook. So you should have that any day. Please let me know when you get it. Absolutely. Um, and then your design is permanent once you heat set these, you guys. And then you can wash it over and over again all the time. That is the beauty of the ink. So now I'm just waiting for my heat press to heat up. So. Does anyone have any questions while we're waiting for my heat press? Let me just tell you, if you are interested, by the way, I do have a private VIP group. In my VIP group, that is for customers only, sorry, no designers. Um, that is where I post like tips and tricks. I'm gonna be doing a live sale in there um, for some products and finished goods if you're interested. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some fun games in there. So if you are interested in being a part of my VIP group, just give me a hashtag VIP and I will make sure I get you the link to that group. But it's a really cool place where we can ch talk and chat, get to know each other. And again, there's just a lot of specials and things like that in my VIP group as well. So I have the VIP group. I have my opportunity group that I will make sure I post the link for you, Nicole, so you can be added to that. Again, there's like a, it's like a 20 minute video where you can learn about the opportunity and being a designer like myself. So that's about it, you guys. Oh my gosh, what is everyone doing? Nicole, I think you're in there. I think you're in my VIP group already. So we're just waiting for this to heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. So like I said, you don't have to have one of these to do this. All you need is an iron. So all I'm gonna do, like I said, this is my heat press. I'm gonna just go over this area with my heat press for like 30 seconds on each side. I just wanna be really careful because this is, I've got that little fringe there and this thing gets really hot. So I don't like to keep this down all the time. Like I like to move mine around when I do mine. I'm gonna do it on both sides for 30 seconds. Okay. And then I'm gonna flip this over. Ooh, that thing's hot. Woo! All right, I'm flipping it over. I'm just gonna do it this way too for 30 seconds. Yep, you're in there, Nicole. 
And you guys, if you are watching and you thought this was really cool, like I said, you know, please share my video. It's in the bottom left corner of your mobile devices. I would love to share the Chocotour love with the world. Like I said, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And you know what, you guys? Here's the other thing. If you're not a crafter, can I tell you? Yeah, totally doesn't matter. I do a lot of local workshops here with a lot of friends. And it's really cool that... Uh, Sorry, I just want to make sure I put that down before I put it on my floor. What's really cool is, you know, I have a lot of people that when they come in, they like, I'm not crafty. I'm not crafty. And then when they do something like this, they're like, oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. So when I say anyone can do this, absolutely anyone can do this. But you guys look. So I heat set this totally dry. I can touch it, feel it, all that good stuff. And I can put this in the washer and dryer. To clean up once I'm done and now I've got these really really gorgeous super cute and I will make sure I do this one little dish towels you guys check it out do you not love that how quick fun cool and easy you're gonna be able to create all kind of beautiful DIY gifts for the holiday season um, so definitely reach out to me if you want to learn more if you're interested in shopping you can just check out where's that over there Oh, yeah, you, it's right down there. See it? See that little chalkingwithjen.com? That's my website, you guys. Check it out for all of our beautiful designs. We have so, so many. And you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk with you later. I hope you loved it. Have a great evening.